Roman, why are you wearing that punk ass hat? Because this, Nathan, is the flat bill concept. You get it, flat yeah, bill? I get it, I get it. It's a motocross themed concept, but that just doesn't work. And guys, coming up right now, we're gonna have a chat with the guy responsible for this vehicle. And yeah, I'm just, yeah. Yeah, okay. get out of it. All right, all right. You know, Nathan, uh, when one is driving prototype Jeeps here at the Easter Jeep Safari, one works up an appetite. That's right, baby. Nothing really happens that appetite like beef jerky. Yeah, especially Paisley's beef jerky, which is local and grass-fed. That's right, baby. Anytime is jerky time. Oh, yeah. All right, Mark. Here we, we are. We meet again. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We have to stop meeting at this beautiful location so of course, like it, yeah. of course you are the is it head or chief or whatever you want to call me head, head, of, head of design for head jeep. of design for jeep yeah. and um this is my favorite time of the year because i get to look at your creations and dream about what it would be like to actually drive <laughs> some of these bad boys so we've got uh, the flat bill well first off yeah. we just did trucks this year yeah. there's not a wrangler out here we yeah. just went all in on trucks we're, we're celebrating the launch of the gladiator so we did a, a bunch of uh, Gladiator concepts, and we've got an, uh, an old soldier over here that we're going to talk about as well. So flat bill, yep. first up truck. Uh, this was all about kind of the desert uh, life, motorcycles, hauling out the, the desert. We styled the truck to match the bikes. Uh, we just think it, it's peanut butter and jelly right here, right? So it's a uh, Rubicon Gladiator, soft top, we made new higher uh, fenders, more aggressive fenders, more aggressive styled hood. Those are fiberglass pieces, or actually they're carbon. And then a, a shorty front bumper on it. 40 inch tire on a 20 inch wheel. Uh, had, to, had to do a two inch lift to make that happen. Isn't that incredible? Just I mean, two inches. Two inches, because yeah. we've cleared the wheelhouses up That's so incredible. much on this truck. Coilovers on it, bypass. Uh, used to be a 40 inch tire. You were into an eight or 10 inch lift on those Especially kind of on JK, yeah. Yeah, so this is, this is cool. First thing you're gonna notice driving the flat bell is the fact that you have weight in the back. And it's not so much that it's heavy, this thing can handle it, but it's moving. <laughs> you can actually hear it quite a bit. And that's kind of the reality of uh, off-roading with motorcycles or ATVs or whatever else in the back of the vehicle, is the fact that you have a load that's transitioning left and right and up and down, and that does create a slightly different obstacle for you as you go over other obstacles. Otherwise, it's basically a Gladiator that's lifted. This has the two-inch JPP lift. It has the standard... Whoa! It's a bit of a drop. It's a bit of a drop there. <laughs> Take it easy on the back. The back of this has been bobbed, so it actually has a better departure angle. The whole scheme of the truck is, is this, again, from the motorcycle uh, we'll try to make it the graphics match it. The 41 on the side is an homage to our year of birth, 1941. But just the, the style of it uh, is, is super aggressive and, and desert. A powertrain, by the way, is stock. So it's a 3.6 automatic. Uh, didn't mess with the powertrain at all. It was, it was more kind of the appearance. But this is, this is the first Gladiator on 40s. Well, one thing about gladiators in general that you will begin to learn is the fact that the turning radius is not as tight as, oh, I'd say a Wrangler. But that's what happens when you have a massive uh, length added to any vehicle. The good news is that it is just as capable off-road. So yeah, it's a very different vehicle to drive because of the load in the back and its extra height, but basically it's a gladiator with um, a little extra noise. It looks really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. And let's talk about the bikes in the back here. Yep, the bikes are actually mounted in uh, sleds yep. that are ramps. We made these, uh, so they you pull a pin, and they're they're clamped in here through the foot pegs, which is a cool way to do it. But the uh, you pull the pin, and the, and whole, the whole thing slides out. Whole sled slides out. Uh, I, I think it's pinned in right now. Yeah. Um, but it becomes the ramp to get the bikes in and out of there. Yeah, no tailgate on here. We actually. Uh, chopped, we didn't put the spare tire underneath, it wouldn't fit, so we actually uh, ramped the back a little bit. These are uh, KTM 250 two-strokers. 
And you ride, of course. Yes. Are you brave enough to actually ride your bike up? You know what? Yeah. Um, if if you're ever tempted to do that, yeah. fire up YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> and watch what happens. <laughs> and you'll change your mind. One more thing about the flat bill. Um, like other concepts at this event, it has a stock engine, but they did put an air intake on it. And I think a lot of these trucks also have uh, exhaust packages as well. Um, thought of response is really rapid. Uh, it's one thing about off-roading, some of you guys prefer a lazy response, so that way you can easily go up and over an obstacle. I've noticed that if I so much as breathe on the accelerator, <laughs> it kind of shoots off. Kind of interesting. Inside is is really just uh, did some paint work on it. Yeah. We uh, the seat material is cool. It's motocross ja jackets that we bought, cut oh, the, well, the middle cool. out, and then uh, to fit the theme. Yeah. So yeah, flat bill. Flat bill, and you're gonna make me wear the hat. Well, yeah, it's yeah. A, it's about that, yeah. right? So you can't wait. No, no, no. Gomer, no, you did it wrong. Okay. No, 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 no. I don't know anything about so, this. So the flat bill hat, yeah. it's got to be completely flat. This is my understanding, yeah. right? You gotta leave the sticker on, it's gotta be black, yeah. right? And it goes on, okay. you gotta take your glasses off. All right. All right, here you go. Now you're ready to drive this truck. Oh, I feel like I look like, I look like Jesse James. It's yeah, horrible, it's yeah, horrible. Yeah. You gotta tuck your ears in. I don't know, it's the look though. Yeah, yeah. yeah? Oh yeah. Oh, I need a Sandra Bullock now. <laughs> it's not that, Gomer. No. There you go. You know, no, we had some fun with it, and it's just, uh, it's it's all tongue-in-cheek, good good fun stuff. And this is, uh, yeah, what is No it? carpet, we, yeah. uh, carpet in Moab just doesn't work for us, so we, we pull the carpet out, it's rhino line, all, all my trucks are like that out here, and it just makes our life easier. I did my own Jeep that way years ago. It was liberating when I threw the carpet away. I'd like to get us there one day for production, uh, working on it, it's a goal. How's that? And of course you did the complete convertible, right? So yeah, so this is a this is the soft top truck, and uh, I can flip that back for you and then pull the, the rear pieces off as well. So I can't rock this, but you're more of a flat bill kind of guy. No, I'm really not, and I, my head is too bloody big. I can't even get it over my ears. Yeah. This doesn't work. No, no, we're just not of that ilk. But this is. Yep. Guys, thanks for watching. Remember, go back to tfltruck.com for more news, views, and of course, Moab punk ass hat reviews. I think you got to put your ears in. I can't put my ears in. My head's too big. See, like that.